Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the more UI changes um, that came into the game with the recent Spring 2023 update that is also currently the burning discussion in the community. And more specifically, it's going to be about the production buildings. So I'm just going to get started with um, my game. Uh, let's see what I can do with my crops. I think that my silo is full, or maybe the last time I remember it was full. Um, so first of all, you see the basic change of the game. Uh, we talked about the icons yesterday. And if I have a look at the barn, you can see how changed it looks. It looks more fresh to me, like it's really customized and the screen is bigger now that we don't have that level bar in the middle of the screen. Uh, so like it's all over the place, uh, but it's actually very neat. I do like it. I think the background is more white. Like it just looks more clean, to be honest. And also now you don't really have to keep holding onto anything in your barn to see what it actually is. You can simply tap on it and uh, it's going to show you that little screen at the top for like five seconds. For example, it's um, jelly beans. Uh, it's going to get ready in 20 hours and 24 minutes. And you can also tap on this icon, which is the arrow sign, and it'll take you directly to the candy machine. I really don't know how to feel about this change. Like it has its own positive effects, but it also has some negative effects. So... Um, yeah, but let's see what I can plant in my crops. I'm going to go with something that is going to take a long time. So, okay, well, I'm actually good on most of the crops. I don't have any tomatoes, but I don't really care because I do have a lot of them in my baby farm. Maybe it's time that I go with some cabbage and we're going to go with some, okay, let's see. I'm not really a fan of this, to be honest, the way you don't really have to hold on to something now just to see what it actually is. I mean, I understand their intentions behind why they chose to do this, but for me, it's all just not my thing. But again, this could be because we're currently not really used to this whole new thing, so I guess we all just have to be very patient, huh? But what's wrong in discussing all this? So that's our neighborhood that we talked. Okay, so one of the few things that I wanted to show you guys is I especially love the way this boat leaderboard looks. The colors are so cool. I know they're bright and some people are having like issues with it, but I think it's so cool the way we have those little icons at the left, like the global ranking and um, all that stuff. It just looks so cool. So I do like the boat leaderboards. And um, I was going to talk about the prediction buildings. So now if you have a look at the bottom left corner of the screen, you can find this in-game tab. Once you tap on it, you can see that now these things are going to show you an animation, which is the change that I liked. And I especially loved this change about the production buildings, that they show their working animation. Um, this didn't used to happen before, and now it does. I think it's so cool. So you can see the animation of all the machines, even when you've not unlocked them, I think. It's still going to show you the animation, I think. I'm not really sure on that. Let's actually check it out. Yeah, so as you can see over here, that even I've not unlocked these machines on this farm, I can still see their animation. How cool is that? Now, you don't really have to go to other people's farms just to see how a certain machine works. You can simply have a look at its animation right here. Because I remember when I was a low-level player, uh, there used to be some machines that I really used to like. For example, um... The soup kitchen used to be like my really favorite machine and I always wanted to see how it works. So what I would do, I would go to other people's farms just to see how it was working. Um, and now I don't really have to do that. I can simply watch the animation from here. So this is probably uh, one of my most favorite changes that they've ever done or like brought into the game. And I really like it. So you can see um, even the waffle maker that I still haven't really unlocked on my main farm. Uh, this is how it's working animation is going to look like. But that's not really it. There are some major issues, according to me, currently related to the production buildings that is going to be my main talk of this video. And I feel like that is a change that's causing a lot of issues among people and people are just giving a lot of negative feedback. They're just not really liking it. So um, I just harvested my crops again and I think I'm going to sell some crops over here. Um, so the major change at this point, I think we all know, is relating to the UI of the game and of course how the colors are all changed even the roadside stain looks really customized it's just so different I'm personally not a huge fan of this like blue color like when people buy the shop or like even the friends book but I do like some of the colors here they might be a little too bright but I kind of like this combination a lot so uh yeah that's the case for that 
And all right, now I'm going to come to the production buildings or the machines in the game. And you guys know what machines do. Machines are actually very important because they help us to make the products. So without the machines, I don't think this game can work because we all need to make the products to send trucks, um, to do our town, and of course, uh, to do the boats. And especially for me, machines are actually my most favorite part of the game. I love to get them. I love to run them, love to make the products. And of course, I love to fully master them if you guys have been following my Haiti journey. And now with this update, Haiti also brought some major changes to the UI of the machines. Um, their animation hasn't really changed. It's all pretty much the same, even though some people said that the new machines have their colors that are less brightened, which I can't say anything about because I didn't really notice that. But what I noticed is the fact that now machines are very different, first of all, in terms of their colors, like their stars are different and like and once you tap on their mastery, the interface looks so different, which is kind of cool. And of course, you can also have a look at their working animation from here. So I do like these changes. But however, the main problem here, you guys. Okay, but first of all, let me just show you guys something a lot of people are still confused about. And that is this ad thing once you start making a product. So for example, I'm making this uh, fried rice in the wall kitchen and it's taking like 50 minutes. And you can see that there's a little sign of the clock. Uh, timer. If I tap on it, let's see what happens. So it says get five minutes off from your production time by watching an ad. Okay, I'm really confused because I think in the sneak peeks it was shown that the time would be reduced to half. So if it's like 50 minutes, it should be 25 minutes, not just five minutes decrease. That's just going to be like 45 minutes. So I don't know if it's worth it, but we're just going to try to activate it because I still haven't tried it. So let's just do it. All right, guys, I'm back. And I think I watched the ad for like 40 seconds again. And now my product will be ready in 45 minutes. This was kind of cool. And you can see now it says that the time cut is now active. It's going to be available in next 18 hours. And I think it's going to be for like all the products. Since I've already watched an ad, I won't be able to watch it again. The next will be in 18 hours. So this for me, you guys, I don't think it's so helpful because watching like a 30 seconds ad just to reduce like five minutes, I don't even think it makes a lot of difference. I can simply spend like three diamonds. That's what I usually do. So this little feature is kind of cool. And I know the way that it helps the game, but uh, personally, I don't think it's helpful for me, at least not for me. Maybe it would be helpful for you guys, so I'm not saying this is a bad feature. Maybe not for everyone. The second thing that's been done with the machines that I actually hated is the way once you tap on a machine and you see all those products, for example, all these fudges, and you tap on a single fudge, the one thing that's been changed is, of course, you don't really have to hold onto the products. You can simply tap on it and the screen would appear for like five seconds, which is probably fine. But I hate the way now these ingredients are shown in sort of a list because before... They used to be kind of like in a row. I'll just um, attach a screen here. You guys can see uh, this is how your ingredients used to look before. But now it's in the form of a list. And I have no idea why he would do this. And it's literally so annoying for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's so big. It actually conceals other products of the same machines. So if I'm making the rich fudge, I won't be able to see like other fudges and it's so annoying. So I don't know how this was helpful and why he would change this little UI. I know for a couple of reasons, they're doing this kind of a thing to change whole Haiti system. Even in the future updates, they're going to bring more things. But for the moment, this is something I did not like. And I think it creates a big barrier between me and my smooth gameplay. Like, I'm just not able to make the products fast. Uh, previously, I was very used to running the machines fast. And ever since this update has come, I have not been able to make the product smooth. So this has been a huge pain for me. And secondly, what's worse... And secondly, what's even worse are these little arrow signs, you guys. Once you tap on them by mistake, it's literally going to take you places. Like, oh my god. And even to the places you normally would never go. So uh, the purpose of this arrow sign is that, for example, if it's butter, like you're using butter as an ingredient, and um, let's just say you don't have the butter, you will tap on this arrow sign, it will take you directly to your dairy. This is something that I found too extra. I'm not going to say if it's actually a bad feature, but this also creates a barrier for me. Like, I know that this is going to happen, and I've already read a lot of complaints. People are not happy with the fact that they are touching uh, the arrow signs by mistake, and it's just taking them all over their farm. 
And it's just very annoying, you know? It creates a big hindrance in your normal gameplay. And I mean, no one likes being disturbed when they're playing Hades. It's such a relaxing game. So uh, this is something that I don't like, too. I actually hate all the things, almost, what they've done with the machine. Ingredients being in a list. I don't know why they would add an arrow, because at this point, like, for me, talking... At level 225, I'm already an experienced player, not to be bragging, but I know where my ingredients are. So if I'm making, like, let's just say tomato soup and I don't have, like, uh, let's say a tomato juice, I know where my juicer would be. I would just quickly run over here and I would make more juice. And um, I don't, and uh, if I don't have any tomatoes, I would know that I have my tomatoes right here or any fruit. Like, I just know my farming things. I, I know where certain things are located. So it's not an issue for me. But I don't know what Hayde really kept in their mind when they added this feature. Um, it might not be that bad at a higher scale, but I know that this is going to cause a lot of issues. People are for sure going to be tapping on their arrow signs by mistake, and it's just going to drive them insane. So I really hope that they change it with the next update or anything, because, well, I'm not even going to say that I don't like it, because it doesn't really matter individually, but I know I've read a lot of comments, I've seen a lot of feedback, 90% of the people are definitely not in the favor of this new UI. And I'm not even talking about the icons, I know that they look cartoonish, um, they're not really that great or rustic as they used to be before, but I'm specifically talking about this arrow thing over here, like, I just hate the way ingredients are, like, in a list, it just, it, it doesn't make sense to me, like, it's so crazy, look. I don't need this. I can simply go there uh, myself. But again, this update was really unexpected. Um, I was definitely happy to see big changes because it's a game that I've been playing for so long. Like, I have so many memories with this game. And I love when the team actually updates this game. Um, and I'm happy with whatever they're doing. I'm not really hating them at the end of the day. As a content creator, as a YouTuber, it's I feel like it's my job to talk on certain things. And yeah, mostly whatever I talk about is my personal opinions and my personal experience in the game, but I also talk about related to what's going on in the community. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this video, that I'm not really happy with the fact the machines are, like, changed now. And, um, honestly, I've not been enjoying making the product. So let me know what you think about it. Do you think the machine changes are better, in your opinion? Do you think they're helping you more, better than ever? And, um, does it help improving your gameplay experience? Uh, just let me know whatever you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more Haiti content coming. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.